Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today we got Armageddon 2003 DVD review. I think I have a couple more Armageddons to get through and then uh, all those reviews will be done. Um, I'm currently in the 2005 and I don't have 2007. So this was a Monday Night Raw pay-per-view back in 2003. And I think most of the Armageddons were Smackdown pay-per-views. Except for this one. Overall, I really like this cover. You got the inverted uh, color scheme here. We got evolution of the game. Uh, you know, this was during Evolution's big run on Monday Night Raw. Uh, really like that cover. In person, it doesn't look as good. But, you know, seeing it... On the video, it really looks pretty badass. You know, they really put a lot of detail onto that. Armageddon spine there. You know, this is what, what's bad about some of these spines. Is that you, you get a, you know, someone's arm or, you know, half of their foot on here. So, this is a cool thing to have for the spines but if you just have a couple of these dvds um it re doesn't really look good at all disc art fairly similar to the cover we just have you know the uh, celtic cross there or whatever people like to call it um we're gonna take a look at this real quick available now on dvd video here we have the all 12 of the listed DVDs. You can get a free storage case. I really wish they would have uh, sold this kind of separately or did a better job of uh, kind of ways to acquire this. That's a really rare piece to have. I don't know many people that have it. We got some more rare DVDs here. Got Judgment Day 2002, a lot of the 2002 stuff into 2003. Um, the only one I'm missing here is Vengeance 2002 and the Divas Undressed DVD. Other than that, I have pretty much all of those. And I will eventually review, uh, you know, DVDs like Unforgiven and uh, No Mercy. But there you have it guys move it along here to the back this was a three hour uh, DVD pay-per-view whatever the thing I don't like about the 2003 collection is not many of them have inserts um, so I, I can't remember what the features were on uh, the DVD extras I think it was uh, evolution celebrating in the back and you know some some pre-match interviews and post-match interviews things like this um so this was december 14th 2003 orlando florida really good show overall i really like this event um it's definitely worth a watch if you guys haven't seen it so we got tag team turmoil for the world tag titles dudley boys defending against jindrak and garrison cade val venus and lance storm Hurricane and Rosie, La Resistance, Scott Steiner and Test, and surprise appearances from Ric Flair and Batista, which uh, that was unannounced. So this was like uh, towards the middle or end of the show. They opened up with Booker T and Mark Henry, which I think was a mistake, but the show did uh, translate well after that. We had Battle of the Sexes, Trish Stratus and Lita versus Jericho and Christian. Intercontinental title match. 
Rob Van Dam defending against Randy Orton. Randy Orton winning the Intercontinental title here for the first time. Shawn Michaels versus Batista. That was like the second or third match of the night. And then they won the tag titles later on in the night. So big surprise there by uh, Evolution winning the tag titles. We also had Ivory versus uh, Molly Holly. Decent match. And a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight title. Kane versus Triple H versus the champion Goldberg. This would be the end of Goldberg's big run here in 2003. Uh, he would be a part of the Royal Rumble in WrestleMania 20. But um, Goldberg's title reign was decent. It wasn't long enough, I don't think. Um, you know, he was only in the WWE for about a year. So by the time we get here, it's already December. We're already on the build to WrestleMania 20. So I would have liked to see Goldberg at least another year in WWE. A lot of fans aren't uh, too fond of Goldberg's run here, but I enjoyed it. I, I I really liked Goldberg's run here. It was great to see Goldberg uh, for that time. And, you know, we did have Triple H winning the World Heavyweight Championship. Evolution celebrates with all the gold at the end of the show with... Uh, Orton as the IC champion, Flair and Batista the tag champs, and Triple H the world champion. I thought it was a great show, like I've said. I definitely give it a thumbs up. This is a, a great time period in WWE. Um, and this is a pay-per-view I really enjoy going back to watch. Let me know your thoughts, guys. Take some time. Hit that subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Peace.